We're gonna make vegetable beef casserole. It's kind of like a pot pie. These are the ingredients. Um, sour cream, cream of mushroom soup, veg all. I've got garlic powder, onion powder, Italian seasoning, and pepper and salt. And some cheese back here. You can use any kind of cheese you want. This is what I happen to have right now. Um, these are puff pastry. You can find them in the refrigerated section at the grocery store along with um, like pie crust and stuff like that. Some stores don't carry it. Um, I know Walmart does carry it and Meyer carries it. Uh, those are primary, the, primarily the stores I shop at, so that's where I get it. And then two pounds of ground beef thawed. And we're going to put it in this big saucepan and cook up the ground beef and season it. And I'll show you what to do. So first thing you want to do is start to brown your ground beef. And while that's browning, I usually season it. Um, I don't measure my seasonings, but I will give you some... Um, of what I, I'll give you the measurements that I think you probably would want to use if you don't feel comfortable just sprinkling it on like I do it. But I usually just cover the, the whole surface of the meat with whatever I'm using to season with. And the pepper, I just kind of go light. Okay, and then just stir that around um, and get it cooked all in until it's completely brown. The ground beef is brown, and then we're going to uh, drain the grease off. Okay, ground beef is cooked, so now I am going to drain it. Okay, ground beef is drained and I put it back in the saucepan. I forgot to tell you that you need to preheat the oven to 350, but you're going to probably want to do that before you get started uh, with any of this. If your oven is like mine, mine takes a long time to heat up. So anyway, now we're going to turn the burner back on. I had turned it off, but we're going to turn it back on to probably medium high. That's probably good. I might have to turn it down to medium. Um, and we are going to add a half a cup of the sour cream, which I might just let Hannah film me since I can't do anything with one hand. Um, this is the can of veg all. I drained the liquid out of it. I'm going to just add this. Add the can of mushroom soup. And then you can turn your burner off, add a little bit of cheese, and I'll do that in the next step. And then we're going to also put the puff pastry into the 9 by 16 inch pan, which I have already greased. Um, and that's over here. Okay, you can shut it off. So this is pretty hot now, so I'm going to just shut it off. And we'll just let it sit there for minutes and I'm going to come over here and we're going to take one of these puff pastries which I've already taken out of the package obviously and we want to unroll pastry and keep it on the paper until you get it all unrolled. it off 
And then we're gonna just lay it down in here. And then I try to stretch it out a little bit. My pan is a little bit wide. So I just try to stretch it so that it fits the bottom of the pan. It doesn't matter if the pastry goes all the way up the sides. You just want it to cover the bottom. So that it looks like that. Okay, now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna add some cheese to this. I don't measure my cheese, but I would say if you're gonna measure, you would wanna add about a cup of cheese to this. Maybe a little bit more, but depends on how much you like cheese. I don't like cheese. Well, I probably put a cup and a half there. Anyway. Okay, then you're gonna stir that all in. Get your other puff pastry. edges, I just kind of fold them down like that. Okay, and that's all there is to this. Now we're going to just put it in the oven and bake it for 30, 45 minutes, depends on how it looks, and then we'll be done. It's been 40 minutes and this is done. So I checked it after 30 minutes, but it just wasn't brown on the top enough evenly so put it in there for another 10 minutes and now it looks perfect 